No worries, I man. No worries. book readers were supposed to be like calm. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're on the hunt for some Karens. Karen is a term for a person perceived to be entitled or demanding beyond the scope of what is considered appropriate or necessary. They usually have these haircuts. They can be dangerous. Some might actually be y'all's moms. Okay, so there's this dude who recorded a woman who was wearing a mask that was cut so you see her mouth. She was like, you know, it was getting hard to breathe. So like she made a hole, completely defeating the purpose of the mask. Like what's the point? Might as well not even wear one. And it went viral. Little did he know she was of the Karen species. Came back to complain. You guys remember the girl that cut her mask? She's about to come in again. <laughs> How you doing? I see you. What happened to the hole? Yeah, uh, I've seen this. What gives you the right to record this? Oh, is she back with proof? Who let you record me? Have you know I'm back? Mask on right this time? I want to speak to your manager. The manager? Yes. I'm the manager. Well, I want to speak to your supervisor. Supervisor? Yes. Yeah, let me go get him. Hey, how you doing? I'm the supervisor too. Uh, I'm allowed to record in public, but I see it worked. You, you didn't cut your mask anymore, so. That's because we have to wear the things, but this still gives you the right to record this. So it's got have, a million likes. You have somebody over you. I'm with that number. The corporate number. Or corporate? Somebody. Yes. Yeah, let me go get your corporate number. You're speaking to corporate. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Well, you need but it worked. You, you, you didn't cut your record. mask. You didn't cut your mask. Congratulations to Karen correctly wears her mask now. It worked. Plus, you got a million likes. Congratulations. Hopefully, others can learn from the stupidity. Stop it. No. Are you guys leaving? Get off my car. Get off her car. Get off of her car. Move on up, Krista. Krista, don't move up. Come on. You're sitting on her car. Oh, perfect opportunity to back up. Remove her seat for her. Back up and watch her blame you for falling. <laughs> Leaning on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sitting. I'm leaning. Uh, there's two spots open right there. You really hate your life, don't you? To be hating. No, I love us. my life, and I have my brand new grandbaby in there who we're trying to take for. I love my life. Can't you see on my shirt? Live, love, laugh. It's a lifestyle. Can you get off her car? Ma'am, yes, you are. are. Come on. Two spots opening. Get now. off her car. No. There is two this spots. Is your right, right spot. Now. Get off her Are car. Lead back up, Krista. This is your right spot. There's two, two spots. Wow. So you're telling me she did all of this just so she could reserve a parking spot for her friend. Yeah, I'm gonna get up and sit on the other person's car. You know, real whale tactics here. Like we in the middle of the ocean. Can't move if I sit on you. So unnecessary. They're playing. But that's what the park is for. I never saw a car in here before. It's a, it's a power wheel car, man. It doesn't bother me. What bothers me is you have a little kid in here that doesn't have a driver's license. He's just a little kid and you're not with him. It's not a real car. This Karen just pulled over two kids for driving a toy car without a driver's license. Yeah, hold up, let me pull up to the DMV so my kids can take a test to drive around in the park. What bothers me is you have a little kid in here that doesn't have a driver's license. He's just a little kid and you're not with him. It's not a real car. Oh man, that's too funny. You can't even get mad about that. Hey, can I get the manager of this park? Take these kids away. She just said she was gonna remake it. Was the yeet really necessary? Oh, Karen, you know what else is non-fat? This lawsuit. Catch. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, well, it's illegal to take pictures of people that they don't have to give you permission. So, good to know. Do you want to delete it now, or do you want me to talk to someone about pursuing something with you since it's illegal what you just did? You can you can talk to security if you want. Okay, let's go. Let's go do that. Oh, I'm not calling you. You can, you can tell them what I look like or something. Okay. That sounds good. So I'll just get a picture of you. Very nice. <laughs> and I will go send that to security and they will be out here shortly. Me, recording them all. Karen, did you take a photo of me? No, I mean, you could just tell it, yeah, I deleted it off my phone. I never took a pic in the first place. And now you got this whole video of you looking stupid. Karen ruined my dance, watch till the end. <gasps> Whoa, are you on an airplane? That's illegal. Sir, yes? Is your airplane mode on? Yes. How are you recording then? Prove it. 
<laughs> you can record without being on airplane mode. You done made yourself look like the whole circus. I looked it up in my system, but unfortunately, I'm not coming across any any of Paul Sheldon's books that we have here in the store. Would you like to see if I could order one for you, possibly? Oh, you should have them here. He's very popular. Well, we're probably Paul just sold. Sheldon. Most likely just sold out. Misery. Have you ever read the Misery novels? I'm They're very good. I'm not familiar with Misery. I'm more of a history kind of guy. How can you not know Misery? You work here. I really need that to complete my collection, and I really think. You need to have that here. I don't, Misery. I don't have it in the store, but I could probably order it for you. I'm not interested in waiting. What do you want me to do? Spawn this dang book that nobody's ever heard of? Perhaps pull it from the confines of my butt cheeks. Here you go. How are you going to get mad at somebody when they don't have something in stock? I want my money and I want it now. So I've already it. waited a long time for the paperback to come out. Mi Paul Sheldon. Isn't anybody familiar with the misery books? I'm telling you, how could any of you be in a bookstore when you don't know Paul Sheldon? When you've never read misery? I can't, what is wrong with you all? Nothing but a lot of uncultured swines. Anyone heard of Paul Sheldon? Smash like if no. To enter this bookstore, you must know every single piece of literature ever made. I waited so long for this to come out. And you told me you don't have it. It's not like you could have just called the bookstore and be like, you got this in stock before you even waste your time going over there. I thought you book readers were supposed to be like calm. No, my dad's a cop. Well, fine. Tell him I'll call him. Alright, I'll tell him you wanted to talk to him. <laughs> Smooth! How dare you skateboard? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have to call the police because I was sick. It's a crime to be that good. Oh, but what happens when his dad is a cop? I'll just have to talk to him. It's like when a Karen asks for the manager. Oh, but I am the manager. Oh, bring me the CEO. I am the CEO. Bring me the president. I don't know what it is about old people and skateboarding. Like, it drives them insane. It's like, see somebody skateboarding. <laughs> Anxiety attack, I am the only thing with four wheels that should be on this road. You don't know how to drive. You're ugly. Oh God, ooh. This is going right to the leasing office. This is going right to the leasing office. Is gonna go up to some teenager's car and be like, You ugly, uh, bye. <laughs> the level of petty. Walk away back to your Hyundai SUV. Hi, how are you? Uh. This is gonna be it. Can you hurry? No. Oh, um, I'm in a hurry. Can you go faster? Five ninety five. Okay. What? Five ninety five. Okay. You're the worst. You're the worst cashier I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you're the worst customer I've ever seen in my life. The feeling is mutual. First, she's not gonna say hi. She gonna slam her M and M's. I hate when people got an attitude for no reason. Why you gotta take it out on the cashier? Hey. So, um, you had a guy out there and he was taking my credit card. He was not wearing gloves. Um, wearing gloves? he was not wearing gloves and he took my credit card and then he gave it back to me. And I said, you should be wearing gloves. And he goes, Oh, I just washed my hands. Oh no, he took my credit card without wearing gloves. You know, three months ago, that was perfectly normal. Now that's illegal. <laughs> we got a camp <laughs> Breaking ankle. <laughs> Do you want me to leave or not? Do you want me to leave or not? You're blocking my word. We're gonna start to leave. Alright. Yeah. She really out here making a one Karen barricade. So these kids cannot pass. See, I don't know what it is. What is it about skateboarders that drives old people insane? Are they like low-key terrified that they're gonna get hit if it just like comes rolling out of nowhere and it hit them in the ankles? They got fragile bones. It's gonna snap. <laughs> Hi, how you doing today, ma'am? Hi. I just came through the drive-thru and yes. I was talking to a lady. Yes, ma'am. 
who was extremely rude, and I was trying to explain what size shake I wanted, and okay. I was right there on your menu. Okay. I don't care about the price. I just want that size. Hey, what would you like? And I said, I don't care right now. Okay. I said, I want the 319, and she went round and round. She said, the 329. I said, well, honey, it says 319. Okay. I just want that size, and she said, the 320. I said, fine. We went round. I said, you need to change your menu. And then I had also ordered a burger, and she said, you can leave now. I swear to God, that's what she said. You really having this conversation over 10 cents? Does anybody order by the amount? Oh, look, I don't want the small, medium, or large. I want the $2.99. I said, can I talk to your manager? She told me to leave. And I want to see your manager or whoever's in charge, and I want the number of your corporate office, and I want that young lady's name. Um, You're being recorded. You're not supposed to be recording us. <laughs> Bam! Locked. What now? <laughs> when you record yourself acting like a fool and post it on Facebook. How can people not realize that when you go to... Why are you slamming the door? Sorry, Mom. I'm filming a TikTok. Don't slam the door. Sorry, Karen. Gee, calm down. A door was barely even slammed. Wait, I would be more concerned about walking in on your mom taking a shower. Let me just casually film a TikTok. The same bathroom with my mother showering. Some people get a little too comfortable with their family. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and want a part two, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. Make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.